Good morning, folks. We'll hit several items today, including another filament release on the sun, a sunspot cycle update, its relation to the thermospheric temperature, a cool galactic satellite visualization, and comments on a recent paper about the disaster cycle. But we are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours were mostly calm. We did have several peripheral eruptions off the limbs, but no big solar flares and geomagnetic conditions remain calm. Let's check in on why the magnetosphere is calm despite us taking a coronal hole stream. You can see it here in the solar wind telemetry from Discover. Purple line is the solar wind speed and wow, elevated. It's never cracked 500 kilometers per second in this event. It's a mild stream at best. Just like yesterday, a northern plasma filament released. Once again, this is heading due north and will not impact Earth. Definitely gorgeous to watch, however. CME was a bit denser than yesterday's eruption. Let's move on to the sunspot count where we find we are basically near the maximum of the last sunspot cycle. We do still have a little ways to go and will likely go a bit higher and yet at this point the thermosphere is already surging to significantly higher temperatures than we saw last cycle. Same sunspot numbers, slightly lower solar flare activity and yet our planet is taking a harder impact. That's what we've described before as the impact of the weakening magnetic field and the ongoing pole shift Earth is more vulnerable. Fantastic paper tracking the history of the Magellanic Clouds and smaller satellites of the Milky Way, tracing their history and delivery of the smallest members of the group to our galaxy long before our civilization arose, and how they got to where each of them is now. Lastly, folks, someone wrote an excellent paper on the solar nova, the pole shift, and various preparations of the so-called elites. But there's a problem. They only cover the Doug Vote version, where the planet doesn't tilt but the spin stops and goes the other way. The author misses their own hypocrisy in that if that occurs, those Arctic seed faults are useless because they'd be under a mile of ice, and those in power know what's coming. That's one of several key pieces of evidence for the 90 degree tilt, which would put those vaults at the equator, which would explain the tropical fossils in the Arctic layers, etc., and which means that this version of the disaster is slightly wrong. You can learn more at the Earth Disaster video link below in the description box. Check out our other resources in there as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.